This is the beautiful woman right here that put it all together. Hi. <laughs> and, all right, weirdos. So, it's not going to be this dark when we're actually doing the storytelling on October 31st. But, this is my backdrop right there. You can see the pumpkins. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more on that for you. You can see the lit pumpkin heads with the monster bodies. Little alien there in the background. You can't see them in the window just yet, but we'll actually have some lit decorations in the window. You can see the decorations, but you can't see the lighting on them. Got some stuff, little, little guys down there. Why don't you take them down the path and the sidewalk so yeah. you can see what goes? Yeah, you might see some flashes too because we got some we got a storm coming in. How appropriate is that, weirdos? All right, so as trick or treaters come up, we're coming up our driveway. Here's the here's the sidewalk. And they'll see this little guy first. They'll see this, and then that, which is really cool. We've had that for for quite a while. But then you can start to see our, everything over here on the side. Got a little pumpkin head there. Oh, Bones fell. Edgar Allan Bones is also gonna be part of the storytelling night. He'll be right there on the bench. There we go. And I will be on the bench next to him, looking at the camera way out here, telling the stories, okay? These plants here in front will probably be cut down to make a little bit more room, and he just fell down again. All right, we're gonna have to figure out a way to keep him up. All right, so another pumpkin there. I love these little these skulls here on the side. That big one with the red light just looks so creepy. But of course we are we're we're not all creeps. We've got a little fun stuff for the for the little ones coming in. This one, this one. Of course, Jack Skellington. This is he's our brand new. We uh, this is our first year with Jack. And honestly, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to convince my bride to keep him out till Christmas. We got Dracula right there with the red heart. We got the blow up ghost up there in the bedroom window there. We got a uh, skull. And over there, that one, you can't really see it over there. That's Marlar House Productions in that very far corner over there with a little black kitty. But it's kind of hard to see him from now. I'll try to show you a daylight view a little bit later on so you guys can get more detail. But it's raining now, so I'm going inside. Okay, so I took a little bit of video last night to show you guys what this looked like in the evening. Right now, it is five o'clock. Five o'clock Central Time. And this is when trick-or-treating hours actually begin in uh, Loves Park, Illinois. So, when I begin the broadcast, October 31st, it'll be a little darker than this, but this is about what it's gonna look like and it's very possible you are not going to see me at all towards the end of the uh, live stream. So anyway, that's what it looks like. I'll be sitting on that bench. You can see Edgar Allan Bones has fallen again. We're going to have to try to figure out some way to keep him on the bench. Probably use rocks or duct tape or something to get him up there. But he'll be sitting next to me as I tell the stories. Assuming that the uh, weather cooperates with me. If it's uh, if it's raining or something, I won't be out here. I'll be I'll try to come up with some other idea. If it's a little chilly, that's no big deal. I've actually ordered a weird darkness sweatshirt that hopefully will be here in time for that. If not, I'll just be wearing a jacket then. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So that way you'll know kind of what to uh, look for on October 31st as we live stream weird darkness on YouTube.